Refraction. Whoa. So let's just go a couple through a couple of key terms here. Um, refraction is, by definition, light traveling through a transparent, see-through material, such as these glass beakers. <clears throat> the index of refraction determines how light behaves in a material, and this is actually represented by a number. Alright, let's get to it. Um, so, I'm going to show you how to make a glass disappear using refraction. Now, this is the demo that I did in class, and here are my materials that I used. So, right here on the left, we have a plastic, plastic container filled with sunflower seed oil. You don't necessarily need sunflower seed oil for this. I just chose to use it because that's what I had the most of on hand. Then, right here, we have a, a wine glass, but it doesn't have as uh, long, of a, long of a bottom piece, and it is made of glass. <laughs> here we have a glass jar and then just in case I need to repeat the experiment and sake of time I have another larger glass beaker okay so using refraction I'm gonna make this this glass right here disappear so first let me place the glass let me place the glass glass inside of the jar now I'm gonna fill that glass with the sunflower seed oil now you can see better that there actually is a glass in here. There we go. It's pretty pretty clear that there is something in there. And now I'm going to make it completely disappear. It's very simple. Just pour the rest of this in. Voila! The glass inside of the jar has disappeared. I wonder where it went. Okay, so now let's get down to the physics of why we are actually able to make that glass disappear. Um, so first of all, let's draw a quick sample or a diagram rather of uh, how refraction normally works. Alright, you guys see that? So, Alright, so here's glass. This is our um, this is our wine glass. And here is a ray of light straight beam. So that's the incoming ray. And usually we'll get something like that. Either the end value down here is denser or lesser than the end value up here let's just say this is air and that's about one so to measure these angles we have to draw a normal line Okay, so now this is this down here is the angle of refraction, and this here is the angle of incidence. I don't expect you guys to be able to read that, but I'm just putting it in there. So usually this angle is going to be either smaller or bigger than the angle up here due to the denseness or or, well, due to the thickness of the end value um, that the ray is passing from. But, luckily, the demo isn't as complicated as that. Let's draw it. Okay, so, here we go. Here is our, here's our wine glass. So again, glass. Here's our ray of light. Bam. So, because of the oil surrounding the glass, being inside of it and around it, and because both the glass and the oil have very similar end values, 
light interprets the glass and the oil as being almost the same. So, if there's no change, or if there's virtually no change in the end value, the index of refraction, that number, then it has to go straight. It continues the way it came in. Because if there's no change in the index from oil to oil and glass in the middle, then it will continue its original path. Just to prove this, it'll happen. We draw in our normal line because all angles are measure measured from the normal line. And we ultimately find that these two angles are congruent. So here's that. Here's that. And basically, I'm not going to say that they are equal because obviously there's that tiny, tiny differentiation between the oil and the glass. But we can come to the conclusion that the angle of incidence and the angle of refraction are basically the same. Therefore, no bending or no refraction. And that is why the glass is invisible, because if there's no bending of light, if there's no refraction, if there's no reflection, due to the fact the indexes are so similar, you can't see the object, because you need reflection and refraction to reach your eye in, it, in order to be able to see something that is transparent, at least. Thanks for watching, guys, and Mr. Field, thank you too. <laughs>